Hi. Hi. How are you, Jesse? Good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. So let's talk about the awards today. Are you excited about being here at the Savoy Hotel? Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know, I'm always a bit shocked that I'm even in invited <laughs> to these things. Um, but it's lovely. And I mean, like, to be part of a, I, I don't know, it's a celebration of, you know, of lots of different creative industries and um, people doing interesting stuff. So it's really lovely to be part of it. Do you still like to mix things up, a bit of film, music, theatre? Oh yeah, I don't like anybody to feel too comfortable with me for too long, especially not myself. <laughs> so yeah, who knows what's next. I'm not going to become a hip-hop dancer, I don't think, but I don't know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're still here for Beast, actually, so it's been such a long journey, a successful journey. How, how was it for you? What, Beast? Yeah. Well, amazing. Like, yeah, it... Um, it feels like such a long time ago, but what's lovely is you still have the relationships that you made there, you know, with Michael Pierce and Christian Brody and Johnny Flynn and the people that we made it with, we're still great friends and um, I, feel really, I feel really proud that our little film can actually have such a resonance, you know, it was made with hardly any money, it, made, it was made with all heart and with wanting to experience something in a creative way um, and provoke something and um, and enjoy it and that's all you can really wish for so yeah I'm delighted <laughs> and you know the huge success of Chernobyl this year how was it how did you actually expect that to be that big and that no not a, like you, well, you never really expect anything when you're making it you're just trying to make it as good as it can be um, and I suppose I definitely didn't expect that a political real-life tragic drama would have such a profound effect and resonance with people across the world and that actually it would really touch people emotionally and also you know provoke thought or whatever um, so yeah it was it was an amazing amazing experience it has a, such a dry tense atmosphere but how was it on the set was it different uh, no I mean on set we just it's a uh, our responsibility just to try and make it as truthful and honest as it can be so on set we're you know you create a family and there's camaraderie ship and there's testing the limits of what you feel are within yourself and also with the people that you're working with um, but it was yeah there was moments which were you had to go into a certain place but also there were moments that of lightness and Joy and Johan Renku, the director, is just the most amazing, full of life, energetic, provocative, incredible filmmaker and incredible artist. So it was a really exciting um, set to be on. It felt really alive. Uh, quickly, just your upcoming projects. What can you tell us maybe about Judy? Uh, yeah, what can you tell us about the film? Uh, well, they're coming out. <laughs> yeah, in a bit more detail. Uh, yeah, I, they're Judy um, with Renee Zellweger is coming out later this year. Um, and Renee's incredible in it. And I wish her everything. She's just the most loveliest woman and the most incredible actress. Um, and I just wrapped on a Charlie Kaufman film called I'm Thinking of Ending Things, which I don't know, might come out at some point next year, but... I don't know. I hope you. Will, I hope you don't get sick of me. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's lovely. Okay. It's, uh, Do you know anything you know, about it's nice. It's supposed to be with a group of different kinds of creative people who've been doing uh, interesting, brilliant things. So yeah, I'm really honoured to be part of it. Oh yeah, like I don't know. I I, I draw kind of uh, 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 lots of different things inspire me in lots of different ways to be able to kind of yeah be part of it and. and celebrate dance and art and literature and music and film and TV and all the bits. It's brilliant. Uh, shocked? <laughs> I don't ever really ever expect any of it. So um, yeah, it's just really, really lovely, really, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really know how to behave <laughs> around these things. Um, yeah, but it's very, very lovely. 
Oh, it was incredible. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I didn't think yes to put it on my bucket list because it just felt like something that was never even a possibility. Yeah. And I'd never actually been to Glastonbury before, so for my first time to actually stand on the stage and sing, um, and on a very chill Sunday morning, do a very quiet set with people having bacon sarnies and a cup of coffee, it was just yeah, really, really amazing. I, I, I was, yeah, a complete, something I'll never really forget. Well, no, uh, no I just went for the Sunday, um, but we went and saw Janelle Man uh, Manet and uh, Vampire Weekend, which was bloody brilliant. I love Vampire Weekend. Um, and I had two hours sleep because I'd just come from Dublin because we'd been doing some gigs there. So I just was kind of taking it in and uh, having some, you know, nice drinks in the sun and sitting up on the hilltop and looking down. But I mean, it's incredible. It's like stepping into a dream because it's like worlds within worlds. And sometimes you're stepping into nightmares and sometimes you're stepping into the best dream that you've ever had. But then, there's just such an amazing energy around there. Like just everybody's free and happy and yeah, uh, it means a uh, complete privilege to yeah. get to work with something like that. Yeah. It's so rare when you, that you meet scripts like that that are just so fantastic and um, from the moment I read it I just was completely blown away. Um, and I suppose that you know, it, it's not just a historical you know, kind of objectified thing that happened. It's something that's happening continuously today. And it was a huge, it was probably the scariest thing that I've undertaken because there is a, you know, responsibility um, that's, you know, immediate to the moment. And, um, but honestly, it was complete and utter joy to work with people like Craig Mason, the writer, and Johan Rank, the director, and Emily Watson, who's like one of my heroes. Um, it was just such a, a, a privilege.